Wildfires in some Portuguese regions have resulted in the forced evacuation of 18 people and a rural tourism unit in the Algarve region, while almost 1,000 personnel have been trying to put down the fire in Odemira. According to local media, three fires burst in Portugal earlier this week, with the one in Odemia that is considered the biggest. Forcing 1,400 evacuations, group of 1,000 firefighters combating the blaze is receiving help from 320 vehicles and nine aircraft. While the fire has so far scorched around 7,000 hectares, we maintain two critical points: one to the north in the Difra area, which is creating a lot of concern, and also to the south on the front facing Monchique, said the regional commander of emergency and civil protection of the Alentejo. Jose Ribeiro, who also revealed that the authorities have moved 1,438 citizens as a precautionary measure, the mayor of the Algarve, Paulo Alves, says that the fire initially broke out on Saturday in the municipality of Odemira to further spread in the area of Alcanfordoin. By the end of the afternoon and being concluded in the Faro district, dot the main reason for the wildfires is believed to be the extreme weather conditions. While the national commander of UNEP, Andre Fernandes, warned that high temperatures would continue in the afternoon, according to Fernandes, the next 24 hours are crucial to monitor whether the wildfire will spread to other regions. The smoke and fires from Portugal are visible from space. While July 2023 have been recorded as the highest month in history. As the World Meteorological Organization reveals, the neighboring country of Spain is also dealing with wildfires this summer. Although it is being able to contain them better despite the soaring temperatures scoring the country's third heat wave this summer, Portugal has been one of almost all coastal countries in Europe to have experienced a wildfire this summer, with the most recent being the wildfire in Greece, causing two casualties as acres of the Rhodes Islands were being burned by climate changes. In addition. Thousands of residents were evacuated, and tourists were sent home as compensation for their lost days of vacation. The Greek government has enabled tourists to have a one-week free-of-charge vacation, which can be used in the spring or autumn season next year. The wildfire in Sicily, the southern Italian region, has caused three victims and evacuations of thousands of residents. While the smoke of wildfires has caused Palermo Airport to be closed for some days, similarly, close to Nice Airport in France. Wildfires have burned lands of three villages. Croatia has also been affected by wildfires. While fatal blazes have been recorded in the North African countries of Algeria and Tunisia, with almost 40 casualties being recorded, travelers to European destinations are advised to purchase travel insurance as it protects them from unexpected expenses caused by natural disasters and wildfires. Additionally, travel insurance purchasers are eligible to refund their money fully. Or partially in cases of medical emergencies, cancellations or lost items. Some of the best deals for travel insurance purchases can be Europe Assistance, AXA Travel Insurance, Dear Walter, Mondial Care, Mutual Aid, and Alliance Travel Insurance.